Hey everyone, it is Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel. I do apologize for being somewhat absent the past week, but there are going to be some changes within this channel, so you definitely want to go check in the description below to see what those changes are going to be, and I'd really appreciate your input. But other than that, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up an amazing looking Android home screen. So without any further ado, let us bring you today's new video. Great everyone, so like I said today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up an amazing looking Android home screen. It's this one right here, titled Pop-Up Color by the artist Vivex or Vivek S. And he's done a truly amazing job at showing you the true potential or the true power of the pop-up widget. As you can tell straight off the bat, it's a very clean, pure white theme. You've got all your necessary information, such as your time, your battery, your date there. You've got your notifications at the bottom, your app draw icon. But what really sets this theme apart is these little jump to shortcuts here. For example, if you wanted to have your notifications or your agenda, you wanted to see what it is, you just need to tap the icon and it brings up your notification or your next agenda just like that. For example, your weather, you've got your weather just like that. All very quick and simple to jump to your music of course you just need to tap the play button and it'll start playing the music and of course you can just press the play button again to pause it and of course all of these are jump to shortcuts for example your Google Plus icon there will bring you straight to Google Plus which is really cool I really enjoy the setup and of course your favorites as well that you can always change however you want you can bring up your browser just like that so if you really enjoyed this home screen and you want to set it up onto your Android home screen then let us begin with today's video tutorial great so first things first is letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup the apps that you'll be needing will be these five right here number one will be a custom launcher I do recommend Nova launcher that's the launcher that I used in this video as it's just very stable and works very well with pop-up widget speaking of pop-up widget you will be needing the pro version of pop-up widget for this setup simply because you'll be needing to customize the positions and you can't do that with the free version next up will be Zupa widget as that's all the widgets that you currently saw on the home screen so definitely want to get the pro version for that as you can't import the templates on a free version and then next up will be media utilities if you want to get your music playing then you'll definitely be needing media utilities for that and then last but not least will be a good file explorer such as ES file explorer simply to cut and paste your files with ease so once you have all those apps down you want to check in the link in the description below that provides you with all the necessary files for example the wallpapers the icons as well as the Zupa widget templates so once you have downloaded that either onto your computer and extracted the folder and then copied it onto your phone or simply just copied it onto your phone and extracted it there whatever your choice is but you do want to end up with this very folder right here title pop-up color as, as you can tell here are all the resources necessary so the only ones that you want to be copying are these two folders right here the first one will be main files as you open it you'll see that it's got the three super widget files you just want to select all three of them you can just hold down on one which will enable you to select the other two you want to select copy one thing to take note is that I'm using expanded desktop mode on my Nexus 5 um, your phone has to be rooted and obviously in order to get rid of your soft keys at the bottom as you can tell they are no longer there and I use gravity box which is an exposed module in order to use that ex expanded desktop mode so just keep that in mind if all of your Nexus 5 and Nexus 4 users are like what is that guy doing why is there no soft keys at the bottom well that is because I am using expanded desktop mode with Pi controls which are all available in gravity box but I'm not going to go into that as that's another video altogether so make sure that you have expanded desktop mode you can try it without if say you don't want to root your phone in order to get rid of the soft keys but then it might get a little bit complicated with the widgets so I just kept it with this and it worked out very well so all you want to do now so I forgot to explain that you want to go into your main SD card directory you want to go into your Zupa widget folder jump into your templates folder and then select paste whereby you want to paste those three Zupa widget templates like that next up you want to go back to that main area it's a little bit rusty with my Pi controls you want to go into your that same folder and next up you want to open up your pop-up files folder whereby these are the rest of the Zupa widget files that you want to select all of them and select copy and you just want to paste them once again into these Zupa widget template folders so you just want to just paste all of those like that so that's pretty much your setup complete we're going to minimize this right now as we're now ready to set up our Nova Launcher settings 
great. So for the Nova Launcher settings, you just want to hold down on the home screen, select that little wrench at the top right there, and this will open up our Nova Launcher settings. Next up, you want to jump into your desktop and then into your desktop grid. As a 9x8 is recommended, it worked out very well for me. So if it doesn't work out too well for you, then you might have to change it up a bit. But I do recommend trying to stick with this as long as possible. You're going to select OK. Your margins, you want to be on none. Your shadows, you want to be off. Home screen, it's going to be one home screen. Keep that in mind, you can leave the rest all defaulted, but the one that you do want may help is always to have widget overlap enabled. I don't even think this theme needs it, but you always just have it enabled just in case. But that's pretty much your settings done. We're just gonna go back. If we jump into our look and feel this time, we're gonna go to the bottom and you do wanna have that show notification bar. You wanna have that disabled. You don't need that one at the top as we're gonna have our own awesome looking one right there. Next up will be your gestures and buttons. And this is somewhat important. You can't get this in the free version, but it's always recommended to set a gesture to say open up your app drawer. It is always recommended, but that's entirely up to you. But that is our Nova Launcher settings complete. I'm just gonna go back now. Nothing else left to do besides change this wallpaper. And in order to do that, very easy to do. We're just gonna simply hold down on the home screen, select wallpapers. We're gonna go into our preferred gallery app, whatever that may be. And you wanna open up the walls and icon folder, whereby you just wanna be selecting the plain white wallpaper like this. Doesn't really matter where you move it to or make how large you make it, as it's all one color. We're just gonna select OK. I think it's quite white, I'm not sure if it's pure white, but there it is, pretty much your wallpaper set up. As the next thing that you want to do is to set up your media utilities. In order to do that, you just need to open up your media utilities app like this. And you just want to open up your settings. They'll either be at the top there as an overflow icon or just at the bottom if you say using a Samsung device. You just want to jump into your settings and you just want to scroll a bit more down under your application integration menu here. Definitely want to make sure that Zupa is enabled. I just made them all enabled as that just made my life a whole lot easier. But most importantly, the ones at the bottom here, you just want to make sure that these options are all enabled. For example, use alternative data collection, attempt direct control, make cover art available and send song progress. Always just have those available. It just makes the setup a whole lot easier. So we can just minimize that right now. And now from here, we can start configuring our pop-up widgets. So let's get to it. Great, so there are two ways of going about adding the pop-up widgets and then the Zupa widgets. But after doing the entire process, I discovered that adding in all of the pop-up widgets all together, all in one go, does save some time. So what we're gonna do now is to open up our pop-up widget icon right here. And as you can see, I've already configured each one of the various widgets. So all you want to do, this will probably not be here. I'm not gonna delete them because it's an immense amount of time to get them right. But all you want to do is to go select, create a new pop-up widget. Now from here, you want to scroll to the bottom, select pop-up widget pro, and you want to do select a seven by one. This seemed to work out pretty well for me as it is only a one column wide widget, but for some reason, the seven didn't really make a difference. It seemed to just make it take up the entire screen, but enough of that. So that worked out pretty well. Your title, you do want to give these a name simply because you might get confused which is which, and it does save a lot of time. So all you'd want to do is just to say, name the first one will be notifications. So we'll just, so you go like that, say okay. Once you gave it a name, you wanna scroll down. For some reason, the auto close and the auto close delay didn't actually work out for me at all. I'm not just sure if it's just a bug within my phone or if I had to reinstall pop-up widget, but it is recommended to have close by touch enabled simply because you can touch anywhere else on the screen and it'll disappear. Like I said, it didn't work out for me, but it may work out for you. The rest of these are all up to you. The only one that I did change was the animation. I did select slide from left as I did think that that looked pretty cool. It looked like it was opening. So I really enjoyed that. I also took off reflection effect as I didn't really enjoy having that reflection all the time. So next up, and this is the most important and it's gonna also be the most irritating one for you. And that is the customized position. You do wanna have that enabled and your input position and this is where you're going to be spending most of your time within pop-up widget and it may seem like a hassle but it's actually not too bad now one thing you do want to take note is that you always want to leave your x position on zero as you don't want it to move left or right it'll always just stay within the middle but you do want to be changing the y position as that's going to be determining how high or low your widget's going to be within the screen so what i will do is leave the y coordinates on the right hand side right here i'll also leave them in the description just to help you guys out it worked out for my nexus 5 so it might be a little bit different on other devices for example the samsung or the htc phones but it is a good approximation of where they might be you might just have to change them up or down one or two points so i'm just going to leave this blank for now as like i said i'll just leave them on the side right here and then you just need to change them for each one of the different widgets so all you'd be left to do now is to add in the other four of these Zupa widgets. So you need to add in weather, music, social, and your favorites. Don't worry, we'll be customizing them later on. 
but you just want to add them in all right now as it doesn't save a lot of time later on when you're configuring your Zupa widgets. So we're going to leave those alone right now. We're just going to select back, go back out of everything as now we're going to be getting to the best part, adding in those Zupa widgets. Great, so we're going to be adding in the Zupa widgets right now. Remember, you want to have a completely blank screen, no icons, widgets whatsoever. We're going to start adding them in right now. We're going to hold down on the home screen. You're going to be selecting widgets and you want to scroll all the way to the itty bottom and you want to be selecting Zupa Widget Pro. Now, what does work out really well is say choose a 7x2 as it works out pretty large. And we're going to hold down on it and select resize. You want to make it take up the entire width. But you just want to move it one down so it takes up three column spaces as that works out really well as there's only three widgets to add and the sizing works out really well. You're going to tap away now. You're going to be selecting the widget. It's going to bring up the Zupa widget editor right here. And you want to select SD card. As remember, that's where we've copied our templates to. So you want to scroll however long or how many templates you have. And you want to look for the one called color one. So. There it is right there. I'm just gonna select it now. As you can tell, it looks really good. You can kind of get a good feeling of how it fits by if it takes up the width of this editor. I'm just gonna go back, see what it looks like. And we can just wait a little bit. And there it is set up like that. There's no pop-up widgets to add in this one. So I'm just gonna leave this one as it is for now. I'm gonna add in the one below it, which of course will then be color two. So back again to Zupa widgets, seven by two, hold down, resize, take up width, one across and one down. Tap the hand again. Sorry if I went a little bit too fast there, but it's exactly the same process. And there's not much else to it. You wanna scroll all the way down again. Ugh. And you wanna select the one called color two. Now this is where it gets interesting because of course, this is where our pop-up widgets come into play. So we wanna be selecting our layout. Now it might get a bit confusing as, as you can tell, there's about a billion rectangles right here and you don't know which one is which. So we're going to be starting off with the green circle as that's the one that's linked to our pop-up widget. So in order to find that, we can just start tapping around and seeing which rect rectangle fits where. And as you can tell, I think that's the third from the bottom of the rectangles here. And as you can tell, it pops up with that little green one. So you know that that's the one that you'll be editing. You're just going to deselect it now, select it once again. We're just going to scroll down to our widget on tab action. And from here, we're going to be selecting it course because now we want to be changing our pop-up widget so we're going to scroll across to the third tab right here called shortcuts we want to scroll a bit down to the one called pop-up widget and now voila you should have all of your pop-up widgets right now you're going to be selecting the first one that you added called notifications so you just select it like that remember we don't have to go through that whole creation method as we've already done that earlier on so it's now be configured to open up our notification pop-up widget and we can just test it out. We're gonna go back out of everything and let's just test it out. We're gonna let it load and do its thing. And once that's done, we're gonna be selecting the little notification green icon there. But now, as you can tell, it probably popped up there. For you, it should pop up somewhere in the middle like there, hopefully. But of course, we wanna be changing that. So the first thing that you wanna do is to now select that hand as we now want to configure this pop-up widget. So once again, we go back into our SD card and we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and you want to be selecting the one here called pop-up notification. And as you can tell, it's now being set up. And then from here, we're just going to minimize it and let's just see what it looks like. So again, we're going to be tapping that green little icon there. Just wait to load up. And as you can tell, it actually shifts down a bit. So don't let that fool you. But now, of course, you want to get that so that it covers this notification bar exactly. So how do you do that? Well, the quick little thing to do, a little quick tip here, is to go into your most recent apps and from here, you want to jump into your pop-up widget. It should be the first app. And all you want to do now is to select the wrench, as this will now bring up your editor for that very pop-up notification widget. And from here, you want to scroll down to your input position. As remember, this was the one that you'll need to be changing. Remember, it's the Y coordinate. So say if I went for a 597, hopefully that's the one that I set. Remember, just to go back, don't minimize it, as that pretty much auto saves it. So you just back out of everything. So we can test it out. Selecting notification, bam, how cool is that? So that looks really good. And of course you wanna be doing that for the rest of them. So say for weather, you're gonna do the exact same thing. You're gonna be selecting your Zupa widget right here, going into your layout. Remember, if you don't know which is the blue little circle, you just need to say, select that one. And that shows you that it's the blue circle. So we're just gonna select it now. Gonna select your widget on tap action once again, swap across to your shortcuts. And you wanna to go to your pop-up widget whereby you wanna be selecting your weather 
just like that. And of course, you just want to check how it looks. I've already configured mine, so if I select it, it's going to say fail to instantiate the widget. It's the most irritating um, error I've ever come across because it's going to say it once. However, when you tap it again, then it works. So I have no idea why that error comes up. Um, if someone does know, please let me know. I'll probably have to reinstall it, but ain't got time for that. So it, if, you do, if it does pop up with that error, do not worry. Just wait for it to go away. Tap it again, and then it'll load up for you. And of course, yours is probably going to be blank, and that's because you want to then tap the widget once again, choose the weather notification pop-up widgets, and of course, then it'll then look good. You'll then just have to go into your most recent apps, go into your pop-up widget, select the weather option here, and then scroll a bit more down and go into your input position. Now, see, I use a 777. However, if it's a little bit too high or too low for you and it doesn't look too good, then you just change it. You select OK. Remember, you don't minimize it. You go back out of everything. So just make sure that it auto saves and then you can just try it out and then see. It's a little bit of trial and error. It took me about, say, roughly half an hour. Hopefully with the inputs that I gave you guys, it took a lot less because as it is not the easiest thing to do in the world. So all you'd want to do now is to set up those three. Then of course, you're just going to hold down, select widgets. You're going to add in the last Zoop widget. So of course, a seven by two once again, and you're just going to resize it like that. You're going to be selecting color three. Of course, you're just going to minimize it and see that, make sure that it looks good. So once everything pops up and it looks all good, the next thing that you want to be doing is to be changing your hotspots mode. And what do I mean by that? Well, say for example, your dialer or something over here, you select that that just brings up your super widget configuration right here and you don't really want that as it is quite annoying so all you want to do is jump into your layout and this applies to every single super widget that you've just applied onto your phone and of course you just want to go down save for the dialer i'm just going to set the text now to open up my dialer so you go to widget on tab action this time around you're not going to be jumping to your pop-up widget now you just want to be changing it to your phone so i'm just going to be selecting my phone like that just to see how it works so that when you select the dialer text it'll bring up your phone just like that so that's really cool and you want to apply that to every single one of the widgets and of course the very last thing that you want to do is to lock it all down and what i mean by that well once you've configured each one of your different jump to shortcuts all you want to do now is say to select whichever main widget that you have you want to select widget on tap action remember only do this once you've configured everything that to the way that you want and you want to select disabled so what that means is now what happens if you say minimize it, nothing will happen when you tap these areas, but then you can still tap your notifications and it'll bring up that little slider bar. Quick and simple like that. So that is the home screen complete guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. So other than that, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel. If you haven't already, it'll truly mean a lot to us. And of course, read the description for some of the changes that we're gonna be making within this channel. Other than that, don't forget to check out our various social communities. And last but not least, don't forget to check out My Color Screen's official one-click theming launcher titled Thema Beta, which just allows you to choose any theme that you enjoy or see and just click apply. And within seconds, it'll apply an amazing looking theme that's quick and simple, doesn't have any hassle whatsoever. So you definitely want to go check it out. If you have downloaded it and you're enjoying it, please go leave a review on the Google Play Store. It'll truly mean a lot to us. But that concludes our video. So other than that, thank you very much guys for watching. Marco here from the My Color Screen channel. And as always, don't stop customizing. Whoa.